hi uh, in the last tutorial we have seen how to copy data from one physical sequential file to another physical sequential file now we will be seeing how do we copy a data from this partition data set uh, to another partition data set that is members we wanted to copy a members from one PDS to another PDS how to do that before that let me check how many PDS we have so I have only one PDS data set let me create another PDS data set so how to do that then again go 3 2 then PDS allocate yes okay data set has been allocated then go back press 3 now again option 3 then 3 move or copy from PDS uh, to PDS 2 just press enter and you can see a source data set and you can see another PDS 2 data set right then you just type yes here and come press enter you can see a command prompt called copied that means a member 1 is copied from PDS to PDS 2 just press F3 go back press F3 and again F3 now 3.4 to view the data sets that's where enter then you can see when you browse PDS you can see two members here and when you browse PDS 2 you can see a member 1 if there is any data in member 1 you can see the data along with member and data is being copied from one PDS to another PDS so this is how you you can use an option 3 utilities to copy 3.3 to copy a data from one PDS member to another PDS member right let me see if we don't have a PDS created what happens okay and I wanted to name this as PDS 3 and enter so you want to allocate using the attribute yes I wanted to use allocate 1 and enter see now the PDS has been created using the properties and now you can select yes it's been copied press F3 or you can directly type start here you can go back to the primary option screen from here you can see all the things now you can go to 3.4 type enter press enter so you can see the PDS PDS 2 PDS 3 has been created Number 3 is also copied so you can create the PDS at runtime or you can create it separately so this is how we copy a data from one PDS member to another PDS member when the PDS is already exist and when the PDS does not exist it can create at the runtime thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like this video or you want to comment just uh, you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can keep your comments thank you so much